Welcome back. 15 before the hour in fashion. Everything old becomes new again eventually. Garments like bell bottoms, leg warmers, and denim jackets define a historical period. So this morning we're heading back in time for a look at wardrobes of yesteryear. TV6's Andrew Lacombe in the warmth in Marquette this time in a studio stock with decades worth of clothes. Andrew? Good to see you again, Vicki. Yeah, it's a lot warmer in here. I'm warmed by uh, some vintage clothing. There's vintage clothing all around me this morning. There's quite the collection here. It is the collection of Hillary Block. You're the owner of Veer de Veer Vintage Fashion. you want to tell me about, about your business? Well, my business is very interesting, and it's a lot of fun. I get to play with clothing all day. I collect these things from states and other areas, and um, I have started an online shop, an Etsy shop, and uh, I wasn't satisfied with the lack of personal relationships, so I decided to open up a pop-up shop, a one-day shop, and so that I could speak to people and talk to people and show them all of these beautiful garments. All right, tell me, tell me. I'm wearing some vintage clothing this morning. Tell me about a little bit about what I have on. Well, this is a very, very handsome Don Draper style jacket from the '60s, uh, and also this lovely tie here is called a bobtail because apparently it's a funny man joke to cut the tips off of your tie. I don't know if it's that funny. <laughs> I don't think it's that and funny. And so tell me how you, how, uh, how you, your business works and, and ways people can, can come out and check it out. Well, the best way to come and check it out is to come to the Ordock Brewing Company on Wednesday evening from 6 to 9. I will be there along with um, many racks of beautiful clothes, probably over 100 dresses and hats, shoes, handbags, etc. I can also be found on Facebook at Verdevere Vintage or my Etsy shop under Verdevere Vintage. Is vintage clothing becoming more popular? Where, where are you uh, collecting this clothing from? Uh, vintage clothing is a very popular pastime. I get a lot of my things from thrift stores, from digging around. Um, estate sales are great. And um, just through personal network relationships that I have with estate sale companies and things like that. Okay. And so just tell me a little bit more about, about some, of the, some of this clothing, some of that, or what, what you're wearing or something that people might find interesting. Okay. Here. Well, what I'm wearing is a late 1950s dress, and it's made out of silk. It's very lovely. And uh, right over here we have a 1930s gown, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's made out of silk velvet. It has a beautiful daring low back and it's cut on the bias which makes it fit like this liquid form. It has a matching jacket. This is a lovely silk 1920s dress all handmade lace. Somebody sat up for hours and hours and hours and made every little stitch of this lace which is just astounding. What if someone cut that off? Would that be funny? Not at all. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much, uh, Hillary, for joining us and showing us about, about your passion oh, for absolutely. vintage clothing and a good chance for people to check it out tomorrow at the Ordock from, from 6 to 9 p.m. That's the Ordock Brewing Company in downtown Marquette. So thanks so much for being here, Hillary. Thank you for coming. And we're going to send things back now to the studio to Vicki, alive in Marquette, Andrew Lacombe, TV6 News.